You know, there are two things that are bad about sitting under a shade tree. Number one, Hey, how y'all doing today? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. It is beautiful sunshine, bluebird skies here in north central Texas. What's the weather like where you're at? I'm just out trying to make a little money and make an impact on somebody's life. Oh, what impact is that? I don't know. Bring them a smile. Bring them a bottle of wine is what I had to do earlier. And uh, bring them chicken from Chicken Express. And bring them a little smile. Always leave your customers with a smile. If you get a chance. Oh, oh, what was I saying? The two bad things about sitting in the shade. Well, number one is it gets you really tired and relaxed, which is not always a bad thing, but when you're supposed to be making some money, it's not the best thing to do too long. But take a little time, take a little break. You deserve it, you know, at least five, 10, 15 minutes. The other thing, <laughs> hold on and I'll show you. That's right. Sometimes sitting under a tree becomes a target zone. And I just went to the car wash. Uh, you probably can't see those. But I guess I'm gonna head back to the car wash and get back out here and get to hustling. Y'all stick around. Well, I could get this picture earlier and I sent it to a friend of mine and I say, if you can find it, I got a prize for you. Well, a little while went by, I didn't hear nothing back from him. Then I got a text back and said, what's the prize? And I said, well, I got three rolls from Chicken Express. If, if that would make you happy, if you can find what I'm talking about in this picture. And they said, uh, three Chicken Express rolls? Hmm. And I said, uh, well, let me, I'll read what I said to them. I says, uh, well, you see, it's like this. I get an order and pay request from Chicken Express, and I think to myself, Self, are you hungry? Why, yes, I am, as a matter of fact. So Self orders two fish fillets, but has a drink already. So I tell the guy that I'll have mashed potatoes with no gravy and a roll. He replies, okay, you get two sides. So what would you like for your other side? I'm like, I think for a moment, and I'm just say, I will have a roll, I guess. So I end up with my two fish fillets, my mashed potatoes with no gravy, and three rolls. So I guess if they don't want the rolls for their prize, I guess I'll have rolls for dinner. And now I'm gonna head over here to Red Robin and pick up an order. Y'all stand by. I just love it when you go in to pick up an order and it's ready. Ready and sitting on the rack. Let's start this delivery. Oh, wow. About six blocks that way. Well, I was doing. Well, you think Red Robin can do it twice in a row? I just got another order. This one on Grubhub. The last one was on Uber Eats. It was 12.05 for 4.9 miles. Think they'll have it ready? Well, about three minutes away. So, we will see. Have y'all ever noticed when you go to pick up an order for Grubhub, that more often than not, that order is not ready? A lot of times, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Bicycle, well, uh, what are they calling it? Waiter, the rest of them. They always seem to like, generally they're ready, but it's almost every time Grubhub orders are not ready. And a lot of times, 
it seems like there's some kind of tablet issue that it was delayed do y'all have that same issue with grubhub or is it just in my area or just me let me know but i do have that red robin order now but it, it took them about eight minutes which is not bad i'm not complaining there we go again y'all didn't see it but people coming up to the red light and making a right hand turn they just and actually they pulled out in front of people to make their legal right on red folks right on red means stop just like a stop sign look when it's clear go not right on through i don't want to see nobody get hurt come on now well i'll tell you what i've been using this maximo app and uh uh something come ran across my mind and i was wondering hang on just a second let me start this screen recorder what i'm wondering is let's look over here at it if we go into the settings what it does is it'll turn when you get like say a a grab hub order it'll disable uber eats and vice versa you can override that you know like if you it shuts if you get a grub hub and it shuts uber eats off you can manually go back in and turn uber eats back on but uh i think that is in a setting getting a spark order let's see what it is seven dollars and 52 cents for 1.1 miles from 420 that's the walmart outside of wichita falls but i really thought there was a setting that you could um oh this has doordash on it i didn't realize that select quick app quick launch app hmm. let's turn that on just out of curiosity and see, whoa wait what did that do I saw something down here move. Oh, you can only turn one on. Well, okay. <laughs> There's YouTube. Anyway, we'll leave that alone. But I was really thinking there was a setting that you could pick it to disable the other app when you accepted an order from the other app. That doesn't make sense, does it? <laughs> There may be a setting in there. Like I said, you know, I just got this app too. I'm trying it out. But uh, like I said, you can, if there's not a setting, and there may be, and I may just be overlooking it. But if there's not, all you have to do is manually go back into the app and open it up. Because especially like Grubhub, like we was talking about a while ago, sometimes they take a while. And what if you're sitting like in Red Robin and uh, you're waiting on your Grubhub order and you don't have any other apps running. But if you've got, say, DoorDash or Uber Eats or whatever running, what if they send you an order for Red Robin while you're sitting there? And they both happen to be going relatively in the same direction. You would miss out on that if you left that app off. And it is good practice to, when you accept an order, to dedicate 100% into that order. It, that's good practice, and that's what you should do. But if you don't do that, you can turn the other app on, and you might pick up another order. And if you do do that, when you get that order, and you get to almost get to where you get the order, and get to your destination or almost to where you're going to drop it off, then you can turn the other apps back on. However you want to do it. You know, it depends on each market because some markets may just keep, you know, orders coming in just like that. Like the $2.50 DoorDash orders in my market. Those things come in like firecrackers on 4th of July. Just boom, 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 boom. And every once in a while you get a big boom. There's a pretty good analogy, wasn't it? <laughs> Anyhow, if y'all hadn't tried Maximo, there's a link down in the description. And I mean, it's up to you. I don't get anything out of it. Well, I don't know. I think it did say 
if you use that referral code, you get a free month, but it's not like I get money or anything out of it. it it's it's really a good benefit. And, and honestly, it's a good safety thing too, because it prevents you from having to look up at your phone and do all this and that and the other. You can uh, do your job of driving and let the app do its job that you have predefined it to do. I think that made sense. Anyway, y'all give it a try. So see, this video was all over the place. And we actually came around to something worth talking about, didn't we? You know, it's not all business, so live life, enjoy it. If you can't enjoy your job, you don't like the job. If it's all work, 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 it ain't worth it. Enjoy what you do and have fun doing it. And if you don't, find something that you do enjoy doing. I always thought about making a career out of bass fishing, but you know how much money those tournaments cost to enter? Woo! My, my, my. Needless to say, I've only entered two or three local tournaments in my life. I love fishing, though. Anyway, one well, another thing I love doing, and that's smiling. And you should do the same thing, especially when people are around. Share your joy of life. Make them feel good inside, even without talking to them. Just smile. And whatever you do, keep doing something. Don't just sit around and do nothing. It's going to grow old if you do. Not to mention you're going to get stiff. I think that kind of comes with age, though, doesn't it? Seriously, though, y'all keep smiling, dashing, dancing, prancing, doing whatever it is you want to do. Just keep doing something because you're going to grow old if you don't. And I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a good night or a good day. As Paul Harvey used to say, good day. Who's Paul Harvey? Google it. See y'all later. Bye, y'all.